Hey everyone, it seems every time that I want to get started on today's video, at least lately, we get some news that I have to cover. But hey, it's good news, so no complaints here. Yesterday, with the news about the Obi-Wan Kenobi film from Project Underground as being named Joshua Tree and starting filming as early as January 2019. Today, we have some news about a new Star Wars movie that we'll be filming in 2019 as well, reportedly. Does that mean we could get two Star Wars anthology films in 2020, or perhaps just maybe six months apart leading into 2021, kind of like what they're doing with Episode 8 and then the Han Solo film? The new movie's codename is titled Project Tin Can, and the site seems to believe it hints at Boba Fett. Mercy doesn't pay the bills. Which could very well be true, as Boba looks like he's got a tin can on his head. Now the reason they think it's Fett is because Simon Kinberg and Lawrence Kasdan were listed as producers. They go on to write, We've now confirmed with a couple of production listings and an independent source with knowledge of the working title that indeed tin can is being used during Boba Fett's development. So, that's pretty exciting. I can't imagine they'll release the Boba Fett film before Obi-Wan, as Kenobi's physical body does die in Episode 4, whereas Boba goes on to live into Episode 6. So, maybe we'll see the release into the spring of 2021, if we're lucky. I mean, who knows at this point? That is some pretty exciting news, that the Boba Fett film is back on track, as I know it was scrapped. That is, unless... They're using the same directors for a different film, and it's not Boba Fett at all. Rather, something else titled Tin Can. I highly doubt that, however, you know, I always like to explore all possibilities with you guys, so you're never misdirected. So my question to you is, what would you like to see in this Boba Fett film? Do you want it to cover his youth, just like the TV show was supposed to do when George Lucas was in charge? Which would have covered and taken premise in the undergrounds of Coruscant. I think that would have been really cool because it would have shown Palpatine and his connection to the underground world, as well as Boba Fett and all the other dark characters. Or. Would you rather have it follow his storyline when he joins the Empire, or just right before, and becomes Vader's most used bounty hunter? Now, in the canon comics, Boba actually does go back to Tatooine to find Luke and bring him to Vader, where he's actually defeated, or somewhat stunned by Luke, in a very early stage of his Force training, which I thought was kind of funny as well. So maybe we could see something like that, I think that would be really cool, and it could open up a pathway to seeing a Luke anthology film, because they would have to cast someone for a younger Luke. So there are tons of different possibilities and doorways here that could be opened from these films. As we know, there are some pretty good lookalikes of a young Luke out there already. Let me read your comments down below, and I will see you all in the next episode of Star Wars Theory. Until then, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, remember, the Force will be with you always.